What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So y'all know yesterday, DDG showed Baby Halo 222 in the chat. He showed Baby Halo and handsome, handsome young man. But uh, I guess today he went off on people talking about his baby, okay? As he should. As he should. Because why are you talking about people that just pulled up the earth? I'll never understand it. But let's get into it. Halo is asleep. It's been a long, long, long six months, man. Just been keeping it a secret. Um, I don't know, like, I read a few comments and, uh, now, I know I got the best looking son in the entire world. Like, there's no baby Here. out there that's more handsome than my son. And if Here. it is a baby watching this right now, and you're a little more handsome than my son, um, or or you not more handsome, but like you neck and neck with him, you know, congratulations to you. You you are literally the one percent. Um, but I I seen a few poor, broke, dirty, fat back on. Uh, Instagram talking about my son and it just <laughs> a few poor dirty fat back big back what is that uh, it just make me so angry and mad but then I have to realize that my son is richer than him he has a more successful life he's in Italy at six months he's been now. across the world he's been around the world already and he's only been Talk living for it. six months and they Talk broke pork and barely eat, probably on welfare still. Dang. And they grown, probably living with their mama. Now, if Dang. you're a nice person and, and I described your life in any way, I don't mean no harm to you. I'm talking to the people that was talking crazy about my son. He got every right to feel that way. Every right. Don't talk about my child. Hey, I'm wrong with y'all. He just pulled up. He ain't like he came out and was like, yo, I don't like any of y'all. He didn't say that. He just pulled up to earth six months ago. Hell wrong with y'all. <laughs> and um, I just want to say, like, make sure you keep that on the Internet because I in real life. But I don't want to come over here and be super duper negative. It's just I'm very protective over my son, I'm protective over family in general. But my son, I'm like overly protective, like As he should crash be. out protective. So, oh, damn. um, you know. But, you know, you, you if somebody tell you, if you tell somebody two plus two is four, four and they tell you that it's six, you can't get mad at them, you know, because you know that it's four. You know, I know my son is handsome. I know him. I have a very beautiful, smart, intelligent son. And um, I'm very proud of him. And he's going to be the future. Here. And hopefully, you know, I can capture it, but also keep some type of privacy. But. I do want to, you know, I want I want my my son to excel in plenty of different ways. I don't I don't know if I want him to be like you no know, internet sensation or nothing like that, but I do believe that he's gonna be very 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 talented Push out. in something. Halo is asleep. It's been <laughs> a long 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 six months. It's another video, DDG. I don't know what happened to that part. But he basically was like, keep that on the internet because uh, I unalive you. Where the hell did that go? He literally said that. <laughs> um, Halo is asleep. It's been a long, long, long six months, man. Yeah, I don't know where it went. But y'all, basically, he went the hell off. Um, on people speaking about his seed, and as he should. I don't know why people so nasty and so miserable, but, you know, you can't control what people do or say, so it is what it is. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm glad that he showed them, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to live in privacy all they damn life, especially um, when they birthed a beautiful baby and they already on the Internet, you know? Uh, so... Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I definitely got a TikTok at the end of this video playing for y'all. Y'all enjoy it. Um, and that's really it. Let me know what y'all want me to react to.
Yeah. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. This is another uh, TikTok. My good sis, Kendra, sent me. Kendra, keep sending them. Y'all, I keep asking y'all every day, send me TikTok, send me TikTok, send me TikToks. Follow me on at Royalties World on Instagram. Send me the TikToks. Let's get it. So this first date story, I'll go first. So ladies, if you have a wig, hold your wig because this is a crazy story. <laughs> So I met this guy in Chicago, but he uh -huh. was from Atlanta. Nah. When I went to go visit nah. in Atlanta yeah. to go visit my brother, uh -huh. I kind of let him know, text him, like, hey, I'm in town. We nah. never went out on a date before. Uh -huh. So he was like, I'll nah. take you out on a date. Uh -huh. So we go to this really nice, I dressed really nice, went uh -huh. to a really nice restaurant. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, he suggested, let's go to this lounge. I'm not going to stay the lounge because um, Atlanta is kind of small. Okay. But afterwards, we went to the lounge. I should have just took my butt home, but I did. Right. So we go to the lounge. Everybody know him because he's like a well-known guy in Atlanta. Yeah. So we're sitting at the table, you know, having a little cocktail or whatever. And I'm just sitting there looking pretty. Out of the blue, this guy came up, ran up. It was like an on-site thing. Punched this man. <laughs> they get the fight. They fall up on the table. What? They ended up breaking the table. At this point, everybody just kind of went all over their fight. Wait a minute, friend. I got to start this over. Because how did it go from that to that that fast? Tell me your wildest first date story. I'll go first. I mean, damn. Hold on. I need to hear this again. Tell me your wildest. Yo, something about me that y'all don't know is I have to listen to it again sometimes to uh to get it. Not only that, reading. I can't, I don't get it the first time I read it. I got to read it again. And I'm sure I'm not the only person, but I'm not embarrassed to say it. So let me look at it again. <laughs> this first date story, I'll go first. So ladies, if you have a wig, hold your wig because this is a crazy story. Okay. <laughs> So I met this guy in Chicago, yes. but he was from Atlanta. Chicago, Atlanta. When I went to go visit in, Atlanta, to visit in Atlanta to go visit my brother, I kind of let him know, text him, text like, hey, I'm in town. We never went out on a date before. Okay. So he was like, I'll take you out on a date. Okay. So we go to this really nice, I dressed really nice, Got went sexy. to a really nice restaurant. Restaurant. And then afterwards, he suggested, let's go to this lounge. Y'all went to a lounge. I'm not going to stay the lounge because um, Atlanta is kind of small. We probably know but the lounge. But afterwards, uh -huh. we went to the lounge. I should have just took my butt home, but I did. Ladies, always go home after dinner. The lounge is for more alcohol purposes, running into the other side chick purposes. Um, he want to stunt with his friends sections and his friends bottles okay acting like he he went in on it and then he absolutely gonna try and get some booty keep your cookies in your jaw take your ass home go get you some get you some meat from your old faithful till you find out who cub really is i ain't saying don't get you none get you some from your old faithful all right that way you be safe for the night i did so we go to the lounge. Everybody uh -huh. know him because he's like a well-known guy. In oh, and he's well-known. So oh, we're sitting worse. at the table, you right. know, having a little cocktail or whatever. And Chilling. I'm just sitting there looking pretty out of the blue. This just guy came nowhere. up, ran up. It was like a one-side thing. Punch this man. <laughs> they get the fight. They fall up on the table. They ended up breaking They the fall up on your table, which means she's sitting there like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody getting somebody ass whooped. Who was getting their ass whooped? Table at this point, everybody just kind of went all over. They're fighting around uh, the lounge. The literally. lounge. Fighting. The lounge. So while they're fighting, his okay. keys fall on the ground. Keys. I grab his keys. Grab I then his go keys. to the bathroom, call my best friend, like, girl, this is crazy. What friend? Why didn't you stay to watch the fight? You had one job. You see what I'm saying? I hate the people that be there to let us know what happened. You be having one job, not two, <laughs> one. And you decided to go to the bathroom to not let us see what happened with the fight. That bottom man. And don't let him get up trying to leave and he can't find his keys because you got him in the bathroom. Dude, she said it's time for you to leave. But get in mind, I have this man keys. So I'm looking around. I guess he went out the back door. So uh, I go out the front door. Looking for his car, looking for you to get his keys. And I'm by myself. I see him walking up to me and I'm walking up to him. 
I'm trying to give him his keys. Whoever the guy he was fighting in the lounge came up out of nowhere, literally, and hit this man upside his head. Literally knocked him clean out right in front of me. He's laid out on the ground. <laughs> literally, eyes <coughs> looking. <coughs> Y'all, I've been cooking and I cook, cut some peppers earlier and it's like it's just stuck. You telling me you came out the bathroom, you looking at him, he looking at you, you looking at him, he looking at you. You got his keys. You like, here. And then next thing you know, he fall on the ground. Here you go. I say, hey. Y'all, I would have dropped them keys. And call me an Uber right quick. Ladies, drive yourself the first date. Stop riding with these niggas. Have y'all not learned your lesson? Drive. Do you know what you could have did, sis? You could have watched them keys slide right across that lounge floor as you was picking up your bag, putting your keys in your bag, and walking the total opposite direction to your vehicle. The hell away from this ratchetery. You get what I'm saying? I just... <laughs> I would have got fuck missing okay <laughs> straight not blinking i'm scared my first thing is i'm from chicago are they coming to come get the gun <laughs> i gotta get up out of here but i didn't leave him there <laughs> okay i ended up staying to make sure he was good i go run in his car oh how generous she was ready to die by him like, this is before I knew how to start a car with the push to start. I'm nervous. My heart beating fast. I'm probably sweating trying to start. Girl, you got me over here biting my nail. Car, and I'm, I just can't start it because I'm nervous. I don't know how to start this push to start. It was wild. So the security guard knows him as well. So they ended up taking him to like the side. So I ended up getting on the phone with this two, two, two in the chat. Uh comedian, which is a well-known comedian. So his friend was just trying to make sure he was good and I'm making sure he was good and that he was in good hands. So he's sitting there with a big stupid knot on his head. Stupid knot. Um, it was wild. It was so wild. I had already called the Uber to come get me because it's time to go right now. You should have been Because gone. like I said, we're going to take it back. I'm from Chicago. <clears throat> you never know how stuff like that ends. So it's time to get up out of here. But when I say y'all, I was spooked the entire ride. Like literally looking over my shoulder. I didn't know what was going on. You got in a car with this fool again to leave? I thought you said your Uber was on the way. And see, that's the only thing when y'all send me these stories. God, I got to go find it. Ah, oh, was it pinned? Oh, uh, first of all, <laughs> y'all, she should have gotten the Uber. That nigga could have came after the car. Okay, so y'all wanted it. I'm Here going we go. to give you part two. I'm excited. Okay, so after him getting knocked out and yeah. I'm going home scared. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear from him for like two days. I'm sure because he was embarrassed, right? I'd be embarrassed too if I'm on a date with a girl. Girl, he got his ass whooped. And 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 it just, from the sound of it, <laughs> I just feel like Cub was just playing ping pong with this man all across the lounge. That's what she making it seem like. Oh my God, so dangerous. And get knocked out. So he called me and we talked about it. He literally forgot like exactly what happened. I had to let him know like, dude, this is what happened. Like he got not clean out to the point that he forgot. <laughs> oh my so, God. That was that. I didn't hold it against him. Um, but get in mind, I didn't live in Atlanta. So it wasn't like it was an everyday <clears throat> thing going to see this man. So I go back home, whatever, whatever. Didn't hear from him. And then... He comes to Chicago like two months later. Oh, hell. He asked me if I wanted to go to this concert. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So he invited me to. <laughs> you.
you went out with him again, friend, he cannot protect you. Ever. He can't protect you. <laughs> you went out with him again. <laughs> I would not either, Cassandra, because what? To the concert, me and my girl go. We in a sprinter outside. And we're having a good time, drinking a little bit, and then we eventually go inside. And we're backstage with the artist. You know, it was a rapper, and he's, like, in entertainment. So it was perfect. Me and my girl, we're chilling. We're having fun. Next thing you know. I ain't no way. To the right of me, I see a fight break out. And I want y'all to guess who it is. It was the guy who got knocked out <laughs> in the fight. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to redeem himself and show that he was just like Hulk Hogan or... To fight again in a whole nother state is diabolical. With the same woman that he couldn't protect in the first place. Girl, I would have had PTSD up in there. Just, hey, how you, <laughs> how you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where the hell is he at? <laughs> hey, what's going on? <clears throat> Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. The Hulk? I don't know. I, it was weird. So next thing you know, I looked down the stairs because we were on top of the stage and then like down the stairs, <clears throat> I guess him and the guy was fighting he fell and landed on his leg and broke his leg. No! Yeah, I kid you not. <coughs> Yo, that pepper is, I just will never cut peppers again. <coughs> Yo. That is the second time I went out with that man. Broke his leg. I'm tired listening to this. Broke his whole leg is crazy. And he broke his leg. He had to get rushed to the hospital. And to be exact, he had to get rushed to Northwestern Hospital in Chicago. <laughs> so before he got rushed away, he gave me his Rolex and a big stack of money. <laughs> Now, why would you do some shit like that? Ten thousand for my pain and suffering. Twenty thousand for my pain and suffering. I would have gave him that money. Uh, not gave him that money back, because <clears throat> I would have took some money. Uh, I would probably took all of it. I need money for my pain and suffering. <clears throat> Period. It, this is crazy. I didn't go to the. I did not go to the hospital because at this point it is what it is. So I went to the club with my girl afterwards. Some of y'all uh, wait. We have fun with, with the, the money. Who was um, who was performing that night? So the next day, I went to his hotel room, dropped off the money and the Rolex and I got done with him he had the the cast on his leg it was so sad and what's so crazy about it is that that man was in his late 40s oh acting a fool I thank God for growth for me because I was like only like 25 <laughs> okay <clears throat> so some of y'all said that uh, is fake. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I got some stories that you will never believe. And nobody will ever believe certain stories because they would have had to been there. Y'all would have had to gone there. Wait, what? 
if you do if you do wash your face with it and let it go up your nose, it'll get rid of some of the pepper capsicum residue you inhaled. Wash my face with milk. <clears throat> Y'all, I, first of all, friend, I have never heard of pepper caps, pe- capsicum. That sounds crazy. But wash my face with milk. Okay, cool. Because I'm, <clears throat> it's all up in here. It's all up in here. Um, I do believe her. I believe her. Because especially if he was like a party promoter or something. Because remember, I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Sound it out for me. Because remember, she said he was popular. And a lot of them party promote niggas, I got some stories about them. Y'all would be like, bro, ain't no way. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. That was a very good story time. <clears throat> I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.